The breast cancer use case is taking a very finite example and trying to build the architecture of the database so that other projects can move forward. We're bringing together data from many different parts of UPMC and from the research enterprise at Pitt as well. So that means we're working together to really make a difference to the lives of patients. And this really is changing a lot of the paradigms here. There hasn't been this uh, sharing idea before. The kinds of data that we're bringing together include the omics data. And omic just stands for a term for any genome-wide measurement we make. So if we sequence your tumor, it would be genomics. If we measure all the proteins in your tumor, it would be proteomics. The unique part is the omic data warehouse sits basically next to the clinical data warehouse and then allows you to do searches between them. Big data is only useful if it's also good data. We need all of the information about our data that lets someone who wants to analyze it know, is this the right data to be analyzing? Having all the data in one centralized place will help us to, um, to ask questions that we may not foresee uh, uh, at the beginning of this study. We have the 140 patients where we now have their clinical data in a clinical data warehouse, their omic data in an omic data warehouse, and now we can ask questions um, about the uniquenesses about those 140 patients. And so one of the first questions we asked was, um, is there a difference, a unique difference between premenopausal and postmenopausal breast cancer? We looked at the differences, so the molecular differences or makeup of premenopausal breast cancer versus postmenopausal breast cancer and found very specific differences only in the uh, premenopausal cases. So this, this is going to take a lot more research but it's an indication of how to move forward. Now we know there's something unique in there, we can then, through research, uh, try and identify the real exact changes that have gone wrong, and then hopefully, through the university, then develop um, targeted therapies specifically for that population.